Hi guys and welcome to Quinton's Guitar Corner and in today's episode I'm going to be demoing this Marshall JCM2000 Dual Super Lead 100 Watt Head. I'm going to be running it through my David Laboga 2x12 which will be housed in this isolation box which is just to my left. Um, mic'd with two SM57s, running through a Tube Screamer and a Boss Noise Suppressor through this Ibanez RG1570 six string and uh, let's get right into it. The clean channel feels very, very vibrant, very, very natural. Um, it sounds great, um, gives us that fam very familiar martial sound that we all know and love. Um, the equalization is actually shared between the two channels, so there's not an independent uh, thing going on uh, between the actual sounds. But you know, when you're dialing it in and you want to focus on that kind of, you know, chimey balanced um, sound it does the job you can obviously focus you know the tone to be you know depending on how you set your eq for the clean i personally like my clean channel to not be overly boomy particularly when you go to the like say the neck pickup region um or to have an overbearing mid presence i like it to be quite balanced give the natural tone of the actual guitar as much as it can and uh, yeah, let the chords and the notes sort of ring through. One thing I wasn't really expecting with this was that that sort of pushed uh, sound that you can actually get with the clean ch channel by engaging the crunch mode. So it's almost like three channels in one, almost. And um, what I did with this was that I pushed my tube screamer pretty hard um, on the level and the gain uh, setting, and decided to you know crank the volume up a little bit and you know go give my take on uh, a well-known song that uh, people should know from a certain film, at least, or going further back, obviously. <laughs> Thank you. 
Now there are two modes when you essentially go into the what I'm going to call the ultra channel. There's like a mid-range cut that you can basically engage and that's the sound they definitely prefer. Um, if I'm playing leads I'd prefer probably push the, the mids up but primarily playing rhythm 99% of the time anyway so kind of you know makes sense to have that cut in there. Um, there was lots and lots of sustain. I, I, playing in this kind of setting reminds me how much I miss playing with amps. Um, you know, you do, and okay, fine, I've got a cab sitting there right behind me, you know, while I'm recording, but there is that feeling of, you know, the sound being pushed at you that you don't necessarily get from the digital so much, but digital is getting better. But it reminded me of how much I missed it and uh, I could literally go on stage with a six string, plug in this head and I'm good to go. It's fine. It's not a problem. <laughs> with the way that valve amps go and 100 watt valve amps in particular make you feel you know they make you feel like you're in a tunnel and there's just like a gale force wind being pushed at you you know and you feel it in your chest which is amazing um and it was it's nice to feel that i think as a guitar player because you know the guitar itself is connected to you essentially and it's nice to hear that kind of a response out of an amp again um hope yeah i mean there are this amp has been available for many 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 years um i even remember the tsl super lead series from when i was a teenager as well as you know even if you go back further you had you know the jmp series and all that kind of stuff and you can get these relatively quickly they're almost like they've become Marshall's standard head and I know that there are various incarnations of it but you know you can very much get a hold of them see what you think and not everyone is the same that's what I've found with Marshall heads they're not even though they're like you know they have the same kind of build and whatever like there are distinct differences like what you would get with most albums. So thanks for watching guys. Feel free to like, share or subscribe to the content. Or you can click on that notification bell to basically keep updated with what I'm up to. You can find me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, everywhere. Just search for Quinton's Guitar Corner. I'm not very hard to find. You can find my band um, on Spotify and all over YouTube. Um, we're called Red Method. You can go check it out. And... Uh, Here's hoping you guys have an amazing week and uh, stay safe. I'll see you, see you guys soon.